Rolf Harris made this. Oh. It's okay. I, I'm not. Are you coming out on the podcast? No, I just put butt plugs in my ass. <laughs> Hello, Hello everyone. everyone. No, you can interrupt me on Crack and Mill podcast. I've agreed to that. Hey, hey everyone, everyone, and welcome, welcome back. back to another episode of the Crack, Crack and Milk podcast. podcast. And we are joined by Elias DeWenger and Goob, as well as myself, Connor. And today we are taking your YouTube comments and turning them into improv bits, fun little comedy bits, because. God, imagine us doing a podcast where we just chat about shit. That would be fun. We'd go to jail. We'd go to jail. Yeah. If you want to listen to us while you are driving or lying in bed, talking to your wife or husband, you can find us on all available streaming platforms. And please go and listen to us there because that makes us a real podcast. This suggestion is from Mr. Spanners. Elias has thrush but doesn't know how to tell everyone. Oh, I'm so keen to get to the top of this line at Wet n Wild. I'm so keen to go down the slide. Yeah, man. It's weird, though, because I thought they used fresh water, but it smells real salty and fishy up here it's for some stingy reason. Stingy as well. It's yeah. Like stinging my it eyes. Stings the eyes. It must be chlorine, like lots of chlorine. <laughs> yeah, it has to be the chlorine. Are we smelling you, dude? No. Did you dude, shit that's yourself? A, hey, did you shit yourself? It dude? smells pussy, though. Come on, come on, guys. You know me. <laughs> I never smell... You smell all yeah, the time. It's literally you your, fucking stink. You smell your eyes. Eyes. And we've you tried everything. Me. We've used deodorant. We've tried more deodorant. Bleach. A bit of bleach. Acid so. from Breaking no, Bad. You, like my nickname is like Sweet Scented Elias. No, it's smelly, smelly cunt. It's just yeah. smelly cunt. It was on your jersey it in school. It was on your jersey in school. Smelly cunt. Smelly cunt. The teacher's in, actually allowed I remember it. in year, my, the yearbook, I went back and saw your photo and you won uh, quite a few awards, but the, the, the most prestigious was smelliest cunt. And, and the and photo, won that. the photo was fogged up from your stink. Yeah, there was, so was barely any of you in it. But what's going on? Like, are you wiping your ass or? Yeah, well, kind of. It's gay to wipe your ass. Who taught you Who's that? Ta what do you mean it's gay to wipe your ass? I'm not touching my ass, man. Why? Why? It's straight to touch your ass. Do you think <laughs> shitting is gay? Do you yeah, think it's gay to like shit? Stuff coming out your butt. like And going back. Do you, and like, do you <laughs> suck it back in? No. <laughs> so I put a butt plug that's <laughs> in my butt to plug it all up. But um, that's not gay. No, because it, I'm it sealed it. shitting. I'm sealing it. Have yeah, you so welded like, it shut? No, I'm limiting how much, much you can I shit. put in my ass and take out of my ass <laughs> so by like once a week. Shitting isn't gay. <laughs> can I ask you a question? Yeah. Is jerking off gay? Because you are touching You are dick. touching a dick. Is that gay to you? There's nothing wrong with being no, gay. Like you're allowed even to. Even if your it sexuality was, yeah. can bend whatever way you want. You don't need to feel. But I'm not. It's okay. I, I'm not. Are you coming out on the podcast? No, I just put butt plugs in my ass. <laughs> to butt stop plugs. The There's more than one. <laughs> they get worn out. Yeah, sometimes like like the acidity of my like shit gets away. <laughs> it burns it away. Well, we're about to go down this slide, man. Yeah, so dude. I hope there isn't. Right, you get this shit. I hope your out. ass yeah. isn't too dirty. I have thrash. Oh, you have ass thrash. Ass Perhaps thrush. it's all the fucking <laughs> shit clogging yeah. up because you seal it tight with a butt plug. <laughs> there is nothing wrong with being gay. I know. I know. You know that. Yeah. Then why are you so scared of it? Because I'm not. I, okay. Well, then are you going to take that butt plug out of your bum? Yeah, and we're going to go. Yeah, and we're going to go down the slide. End of the week. So you don't wait. You wait once a week. That means the poo coming out would be massive. Yeah. It, so it, that's it'd more be like gay. This big, yeah. <laughs> that would be, why are you waiting until the end of the week? Because it's like it's like quality over quantity. <laughs> <right? laughs> Suggestion. This one is from Snowy Akira. One of you just invented Vegemite, but is being weirdly sensitive about Secretive. what it's being made of. Hey, what's going on, man? Nothing much. I'm just here in my factory. Oh, you have a oh. factory? Yes. It's pretty nice in here. What's yeah. this product Thank you've you. made? Product. Yeah. This is the newly invented Vegemite. It smells bad. It smells like shit. Yeah, it smells like yeast. It might smell bad, but wait until you try it. Tastes bad. It also it, tastes it, like shit. Tastes like shit. I think an like entire it. country of white colonizers will probably really enjoy yeah. it. But if you keep, yes, if you keep having it, you'll have an acquired taste because it's full Tastes worse. Of salt mm. and yeast. And other misc. 
What's that? Oh, sorry. Sorry, what's misc? misc? It's, you know, the other like 3% of things that are added to things that just don't really <laughs> tell you what it is. Why don't you? Why don't we're you? Your friends, we're friends, friends, college. So. Yeah, but uh, I cannot go out giving everybody my secrets now, can I? <laughs> just have some. <laughs> I keep having it. It tastes worse. It's not, yeah, it's quite salty. I, what do you taste? It sort of feels I like taste, I'm cutting the top of my mouth every time I, I taste, take a bite. I taste salt. I taste yeast. I potentially taste what seems to be human flesh in there. So, yes, we <laughs> do not have organic matter in there. <laughs> What's in there? Uh, non organic matter. Like what? Cannot go into detail. We need more from yeah, you, mate. I, I, okay, come with me. <laughs> oh, cool. It's what not is bad. It sounds like there's like a machineries behind these doors. Yeah, like don't go back there. Blending stuff up. Don't go back there. Do not go. That is my human oh. factory <laughs> where we excrete <laughs> all of our humans and get the feces out of them to put them in the vegetable. <laughs> it's not their body. It's, it's their just shit. shit. But also, What's yeast. It? And, and salt, salt. So it's and food. human flesh. Yeah. And, oh, uh, what and was that? Where'd you get the flesh human from? Fl well, when we are done with extracting all the feces from the humans, <laughs> we cut them up and put them in the Vegemite. Why wouldn't you just blend them full then? Yeah. Because I need to, like, you can't just make them <laughs> shit. Like, you have to give them time, you know. Are these free range uh, men and women that you're. Surely. You, uh, are these Definitely not. <laughs> oh, these are just in, in cages. Little They're pants. all in cages, hanging from ceilings. <laughs> they not get a lot of, uh, lot of place to run around. They just have to stand and probably shuffle, wait from one foot to the other. <laughs> Holy fuck. That's With fucking a dark, accent. dude. This is fuck. We feel like we're in a concentration yeah, camp a little bit. Yeah, this is a bit weird. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> would you like... I don't so, like being here. I've noticed like, a big pile of shoes this is the over there. there. I'm really scared. Excuse me, Mr. Elias, um, I'm just a little <laughs> concerned that we're... This is becoming a little too dark, mm. what you're doing. I, I think it's probably time for us to go. You want me to turn on the lights? Sure. <laughs> See, it was all a sham. If you come back into this room now, <laughs> the next room, you'll see that it wasn't actually human flesh that we were putting in the Vegemite. That was from another product I wanted you to see a reaction for. What product, Marmite? Marmite. <laughs> So there's no human shit or flesh in the No, there's definitely human shit <laughs> oh, in there. There's human feces and uh, Vegemite, <laughs> but not human flesh. That's for Marmite. That's for Marmite. So what's in the Vegemite? Human feces. This one's from Abus Wolbings. <laughs> Suggestion, someone is trying desperately to sell one of Hitler's paintings without the buyers oh. knowing who painted them. This is um, some great work I've been collecting for quite a few years here. I just wanted to show you some of my works. This one's actually a Da Vinci that I've had for years quietly. Anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll put that along. But these ones are by um, a pretty great uh, older artist. Oh, shit. Kind of a, kind of a, a quite um, a polarizing figure, but, but one that really deserved a bigger voice in art, I think. So, yeah, this one here is, is quite nice. And we'll be starting the, starting the pricing at about 50000 for this. I don't one. want to say it. It looks really bad. Hmm? Looks like an artist dropped out of school and made yeah, that. It looks it terrible. Look like they finished art school. A lot yeah, of the lighting's that's, off. That is... The aesthetic and, and, and a real emotional driver for this person was the fact that they were rejected from art school. Did you find? <laughs> <laughs> Why were they rejected from art school? It wasn't good enough. It was pretty shit. But that, that, that's a, Are you a big fan of this person? Selling for 50, uh, hmm? Are you a big fan of this person? Um, I think that art does not have to be made by someone you like or necessarily like? agree with ethically, morally, or spiritually. Do, do you potentially have any, like, pamphlets or or uh, readings or books that have been made by the um the artists that i could read he was a bestseller mm -hmm. for quite some time which what years sir 30s probably 30s so like chaplin era yeah very yeah. very very huge hugely influenced by chaplin ah it must huge. be american artist right mm. european um but oh. yeah yeah he, he, he's done a lot Are you a fan of chaplin Huge fan. So of part of the Jewish community or something. He he really likes the color red, doesn't he? Yeah, it's I've like, noticed there's a lot of red, and it's like. Oh, you know what I actually have? I actually have his details in my car. Let me just go into my car, uh -huh. and I'll just I'll yeah. just I'll be right back. Okay. 
Did you think it was? Do you think it was a bit weird that there's a box with like a little white costume in there and stuff? It's really yeah. It was it's a little weird. Oh, um, oh hang on, but uh, they're, in, oh, they're in their car. He's and in the car. He's, he's he just drove he's off a cliff. Away. He's the car's rolling down a cliff. What's that on the back of this painting? It looks like it's signed. I can't really, I can't really read it. I, uh, my, um, your Rolf Harris made this. Suggestion, a vampire and a werewolf in couples counseling. The therapist is Van Helsing. Hello guys. Thank you so much. We have an hour. So let's get into it. <coughs> now, were you mocking your werewolf partner there? Were you? Was that what that was? Nice. You think that's appropriate to mock your werewolf partner? I don't even make that noise, man. It's only a midnight. Okay, let's just keep it easy now. We're here to talk about um, the depth of our relationship, and I really want to open up and and hear some. Look at me when I'm talking to you. You yeah. are a werewolf, yes. Yeah. What is your key weakness to killing you? Sorry. Just wanted to know: Do these sort of fights um, lead you to sort of dark thoughts? Hmm. Mm. Why don't you just die? Sorry? Just another question. Oh, well, I can't die without a silver bullet. A silver sorts. bullet. Yeah. Okay. Why don't you tell me the first problem you've had with um, your vampire partner here? Okay. Well, first of all, claims to be rich, but is like 1750s rich. So we're dating, it cheaping out on everything. Everything's all good. Right. I mean, he was rich in the 1750s, so he gets a $10 note <coughs> and thinks he's a millionaire. Yeah, thinks he's a millionaire. Right. You it, no inflation. Mm, not that's, an inflation. Now, that is the thing I find with vampires is that they do not adjust for inflation as they get no. older. They're very, very naive to that. Yeah. It's an inflation, odd one. small inflation. See what I mean? Yeah, real arrogant. Real prick. Real prick. Real prick. And speaking of prick, do you know, like, sort of like what your Steak. partner stakes in the through heart. the heart will kill that's him? That's how you kill him. Okay. Thank you for that. And what's going on here? Why can't you guys just get to it and finish the job? Well, finish each other off. Yeah. Well, well I, I, I'm, I'm on some medication, so I can't finish him. Uh, you can't kill him because of the medication. Oh no! Uh, no, that's what did you? Don't worry about it then. Come to completion. So, <laughs> right, I see. Okay. And I, a problem that I have with my werewolf boyfriend is that. Uh, he always wants to put install mirrors everywhere, like above the bed, beside the bed, under the bed. But the thing is, I don't show up in mirrors, so it's just looking at himself constantly. And you're not there. I'm not there. I'm here. That's really. I'm here, not up there. Yeah. I'm in the moment with you. But yeah. he, he says this, but then he decides he's going to shave his head every day. Yeah. Why not have long hair, mate, if you can't see yourself in the fucking mirror? Look at your haircut. Well, oh, wait, you can't. That's the thing. I can't look at the mirror. You can't. Yeah, so he's, looks been, like. he's talking about my looks all the time. You're too hairy. You're too hairy. I, at least I appreciate how I look. Um, we can book some more sessions in. I think over the course of about six months, you guys could come out the other end because there's clearly a strong connection here and there's clearly mm. love between you. Um, the other option is we can end the session now and I can give you some pamphlets which will help you. The third option is you two kill yourselves and save humanity um, the hassle of dealing with two mythical creatures. Mm. We're going... That'll be $650. But um, each. aren't you meant to try and help us to get back together and set us apart? Absolutely. So what mm. I suggest... This is a bit... It's weird because we spoke to Frankenstein and his monster. Yeah. And we organized a big thing tonight in the village. Yeah. And there's a guy who's around who's trying to hunt us down. And right, right. And what was his name? Van de... Do you Van, remember? Like Van Gogh or something. Van Gogh or Van Gogh. something. Anyway. Oh, Jean-Claude Van Damme. Jean- oh, that's no, not I've heard, maybe. I've heard he's coming Jean-Claude. around, actually. Yeah. We went over to the Swap Monster's house for tequila. What? Tequila night. Swap Monster. Yeah. Oh, he's yeah, going for tequila to Swap Monster's house. Well, yeah, at least yeah, he takes yeah. care of me, hey. At least he takes care Whoa, of me. Whoa, that's not right. Anyway. No, you know what? That's not right. We should really figure out where this Swan Monster lives. What's his address? Well, you don't have to worry about that. because I don't know. He never tells me. Or he sneaks out in the middle of the night. Ooh! And goes far away to his Swan Monster's was that? What was that sound? Was that... What was that sound you were doing? Which one? I didn't even make that Were you that mocking sound. him? Yeah, that's, I didn't even make that Can sound. Can you do the you sound? You make that sound in your sleep like It's snoring. It's I have not snoring. I have sleep it's, problems. That's why I have the machine. It's howling. 
You have a machine. Yeah, to breathe have, at night. You howl. You don't snore. You howl. Yeah, it's just bad snoring. Of sleep apnea. It's very bad, and you need yeah, to get it checked. I have the machine to help so me. I breathe. can't sleep. Have you? You don't you sleep. sleep. Yeah, that's the thing. Um, you how? Just, just. I can't uh, sit of... in my corner and look down there for eight hours staring. Well, because I get distracted by. Oh, oh. all right, that's enough. Whoa, you two whoa. fucking bastard monsters have been pissing me off this whole time. All right. It's me, Van Helsing, and I'm here to clap your cheeks. Vincent Van Gogh. Vincent Van Gogh in Helsing. It's just, it's just Van Helsing. Uh, they, Frankenstein's monster said your name is Vincent Van Gogh. You do paintings. Frank- Jean Claude Van Helsing. Frankenstein's monster is a goddamn sham. Do you understand? He begged for his life, begged for his life, and he got away. And so will you guys, for a price. I want you to, to make up, and be friends. Remember our first date. When we mauled all those people. Yeah, that was a good time. Yeah, we should go do it again. Well, you know how we've got the village uh, event happening tonight. Why why don't we go wreak some havoc there? You know, like the good old days. Yeah, we can kick it off right now. We can kick it off right now. And they all lived happily (laughs) ever after. (laughs) Thanks for watching another episode of the Cracker Cracker Milk Milk Podcast. Podcast. If you want to find the full one hour version of this podcast, you can see it on our Patreon. Completely uncut, all for you there, baby. You'll see a little bit of it at the end. And if you want your suggestion turned into an improv bit, leave a comment. These podcasts keep this channel going. Cut the camera. You've been venturing Ugh. into illegal uh, gay brothels. You've also been getting illegal uh, gay nudie mags. Now, the first question we're going to ask is how mm. dare you? And the second question is where are the gay brothels? What is it like to have sensual connections with someone who shares that with you? I just need to know for a friend. I Go on, you as, heard him. Uh, well, I'm not a gay man, as mm-hmm. I've said, because mm-hmm. uh, it is a crime. Oh, if I was, would it, be like? it would be like the same as... It would be with a woman, mm-hmm. but with a man. Fuck, that's pretty good. Yeah, Fuck. <laughs>